The Northern Territory opposition has called for a review of how their Territory government spends money meant to address Indigenous disadvantage. Here's Matt Cunningham. People from across the political spectrum have long argued that Northern Territory governments take money sent from Canberra to address Indigenous disadvantage and use it to buy votes in Darwin. It's a claim the Northern Territory government denies, but the opposition has called for an investigation into the issue. Steve Edgington, the member for Barclay, which includes the town of Tennant Creek in Central Australia, wants a review of that spending. He's used the example of the Nightcliff Police Station, built in Darwin's northern suburbs and opened last year at a cost of $12.7 million. It's about 10 minutes from two other major police stations. Steve Edgington says at the same time that police station was opened, another station in the community of Alperulam in his electorate was shut down. Where is the money? Where is it going? Is it going to where it's needed most? And how is it uh, benefiting Aboriginal Territorians? The government has used its numbers in the House to reject the proposal for that inquiry. The opposition is also accusing the government of failing to answer its questions in relation to alcohol legislation that passed the parliament last night. What Natasha Fars and her government showed last night is they're unfit to govern. The opposition asked 29 questions, 22 of which she just completely refused to answer. It proves what Territorians suspected, and that is that they don't understand the detail, they've rushed this legislation, and they're unfit to govern. The alcohol legislation is expected to be gazetted on Thursday. It will mean that alcohol bans will be reinstated in Aboriginal town camps and smaller Indigenous communities across the Northern Territory. That's expected to take place by the end of this week.